Hi, my name's Chris. It is the 29th of December 2020, and I am 27 years old. This is the first video I'm going to be doing in a series of videos of interviewing myself. The plan is to do them every six months, answering the same questions um, to see my progression, I suppose, as I move forward. I kind of got the idea from the Billie Eilish interviews with Vanity Fair. Um, they've been doing one every year for the past four years, and I thought it was a really interesting way of um, looking back and seeing how far I've improved, because anyone who knows me knows that I am terrible at recognizing what I have actually achieved. So that's kind of the goal with this. Okay, so I haven't really done this before, so I'm going to kind of look back over the last six months, I suppose, um, six months to a year, and whew, a lot has changed in the past year. A lot has happened in the past year. So where was I a year ago? Not in a good place. Not in a good place at all. I had just come out of a two-year relationship, um, had some other very negative things happen at the time, um, really tumultuous period of my life and so many of the things that I kind of now take for granted weren't on track. Um, my diet, my exercise, uh, my mental stage, my finances, none of it really. So <laughs> I was not in a good place. Ooh, I don't really think I had goals actually. Um, 12 months ago or even well, six months ago I did but 12 months ago I didn't really have goals at all I think I was kind of going day by day at the time and even then that was a struggle so I think my goal was to get back to level I suppose is probably the best way of putting it Um, my main concerns at the time were probably me, myself, my own mental state, and the fact that I do have a habit of kind of self-sabotage. It's one thing that I've always been quite good at is stopping myself from achieving things. And I think that was probably the biggest, the biggest concern that I had. I think I did really, really well actually in the past year. Um, I think it was a struggle at times. There were definitely some difficult periods. And I know everyone will have had difficult periods over the past 12 months. Um, some of mine were related to the pandemic. Some of them weren't. It's been a bit of a roller coaster, but overall trending positive, which is good. Uh, things that I found easy. Um, I think it's fair to say that I found it easier to get into a routine and to focus on my goals, um, particularly from about six to eight months ago onwards. The pandemic, in a lot of ways, helped really push me towards making those big changes and improving the things that I've been kind of letting slide for a long time, like my finances, like my diet, um, not having the kind of distraction or the excuse of keeping up with the social life meant that I was able to really focus on that aspect of my life and get into a strong routine. My sleeping pattern is the best it's been in a really, really long time. And that wouldn't have happened without the lockdown in a way. Ooh, um, I found a lot of things difficult over the past 12 months. Um, on the flip side to what I found easy, uh, actually the, the lockdown really, really hurt my social skills, I suppose is the best way of putting that. I've always suffered with um, social anxiety and I know that I've taken a lot of steps back in that since the pandemic started because we're not being able to socialize and only my only social interaction being online with people. Um, and even then intermittently, it's been really, really difficult to keep up the gains that I'd had previously. Um, it's something I'm actively trying to work on at the moment, but yeah, that's probably one of the things that was really, really difficult for me to deal with, was slipping back in that respect. And 
the amount of pressure I put on myself as well is something that I found really difficult. I've always been someone who strives to always be productive, always be working towards something. And I shouldn't do that all the time, I suppose, is something that I've learned. Um, but I found it really difficult to just let myself have time off and to just let myself relax and enjoy myself a little bit. I always kind of felt guilty and particularly over the past 12 months, I've always felt guilty for not working towards one of those things, for not progressing towards one of those goals that every minute of my life should have been towards that. So I found it really hard not to berate myself when I'm falling short in that area. Things that surprised me. Um, I'm surprised at my own resilience, and that's not to say that I have been completely resilient this whole time. I have found bits of it incredibly, incredibly difficult, but I'm surprised by how long I've been able to maintain my own mental state. It's not the best it's ever been, and it's far from where it was before the last year, but it's... I'm surprised by how well I'm kind of holding things together in the current climate. Um, I'm also surprised by the fact that I've been able to make the progress I have in the current situation. A lot of, not only have I not had the social support that I would normally have, I used to, I wasn't the most social person, but I had a regularity to my social structure before. And that's all fallen away. Um, one of my best friends also moved away from Cardiff uh, at the beginning of the year. Um, and she was one of my support systems. It was really, really regular. We would see each other. And not having that, I found really difficult as well. So the fact that I've been able to make this progress and have these achievements, even despite all of that, is something I'm immensely, immensely surprised and grateful for. Um, so yeah, that's nice. Okay, things that I've achieved. Um, this is actually the bit I've been most looking forward to. So I have lost five stone um, since June. I have completely turned my finances around. In fact, this month I am I was £500 up on my goals for the month. So that's including all of my saving goals and everything else. I was £500 up on top of all of that. Um, I've got about £400 in savings. I'm paying off my credit card regularly and not using my credit card for anything. I've got a plan to get out of that debt. I've got um, goals for so many things actually that I can I know I can work towards. Um, my sleeping pattern is sorted out. My diet has massively improved. I've been exercising every day recently. I'm on day 41 of running four kilometers every day and I never thought I would get to that stage. Um, yeah, I've achieved a lot this year. I really have. Where did I go wrong? That's a hard one. Um, as I said before, I think my biggest problem is putting way too much pressure on myself. I have a habit of expecting myself to be the best at all times um, and to always be pushing myself towards achieving a goal of some kind. And I know that that's unrealistic and that's unsustainable. Um, but that doesn't stop me from doing it. It doesn't stop me from putting that pressure on. And I think that's that's the mistake I've made, that the few slip-ups I've had, um, particularly towards the first half of the year, um, were because of that pressure I put on myself. I was expecting myself to bounce back from the negative things that happened immediately without any repercussions and without any time to really process what had happened. I just expected, no, 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 you're back on track now and you're fine. And I wasn't, and I'm still not, but that's okay. And I'm learning that that's okay. Ooh, uh, right now I feel, it's weird, I feel a bit of a mix. I feel confident going into 2021. I feel proud of what I've done this year and kind of excited to see what I'm going to do next year. Now that I've kind of got some of those skills developed um, to push forwards, I'm also suffering quite a lot at the moment from the isolation. It's been difficult, particularly over the Christmas period. Um, 
but also this is the longest I've been away from work since this started. Normally I have at most three or four days away from work and we're now 10 days, I think, since I was last in work and work was my my main social outlet. That was the one time I saw people. Um, so it's been kind of difficult to not have that. Uh, so at the moment I'm a little bit on the not great mental side. Okay, I'm grateful for a lot of things. Um, I'm grateful for Anissa and Becky who have been the most incredible um, support system for me for years, to be fair, but especially over the last um, the last year, they've both been incredible to keep me moving forward, to keep me in one piece and not feeling like it's all falling apart every minute. Um, so I'm so grateful for them. I'm grateful for my job. There's a lot of people who have had massive problems this year, particularly with employment, um, particularly people who are self-employed and people in the arts. I've got a lot of friends who have really, really struggled this year. And I'm incredibly lucky to be in an industry that, yes, it is stressful beyond, beyond understanding working for the NHS, but it is secure. I know that I have a roof over my head. I know that I can buy food. And that's something a lot of people can't say at the moment. And I am really grateful to have that. I'm grateful for having this opportunity or giving myself this opportunity to work on myself um, and not not wallowing in in the negativity of the situation, which I easily could have done and I would have been entitled to have done it, but I'm grateful for the fact that I didn't and that I took this opportunity and I have really, really benefited from this opportunity. At the moment, not really at all, but then that might just be because I'm not seeing anyone apart from people at work. So it's difficult to care what people think about me when I'm not really interacting much with people. Um, it'll be interesting to see what happens when we can be more social again and I can see what I'm like around other people. Uh, I'm not looking forward to that, I'm not going to lie. Um, in fact, there's a lot of things about that I'm not looking forward to. But yeah, uh, at the moment, I'm kind of okay with not worrying about what other people think, but I don't know how that will be long term. Uh, it's a mix, it's a mix. Um, overall, yes, I'm happy with my health and I'm definitely happy with my exercise. I think I'm doing really well with the exercise at the moment. Uh, my diet has slipped the last week or two and I've kind of let it slip. Um, mostly because of my mental health is suffering. So I didn't want to put that extra burden on myself of having to stick to this eating plan um, when I was dealing with mental health problems as well. So yes, my diet has slipped. No, I don't feel bad about it, which is the first time in a long time. Uh, hopefully I can get it back on track. Um, my plan is to start from New Year's and I know how cliche that is, but I did a long time of it this year, so I should be fine to get back on track. But yeah, so at the moment, diet, not great, but will get better. Exercise is doing fantastic. My health overall, I feel good about. I do feel good about my health, which, considering some of the choices I've made in my past, not bad, not bad. Uh, yes, overall, I am happy with my finances. Um, I'm a little... I'm a little annoyed at myself. No, nope, that's probably the wrong way of phrasing it. But yeah, I'm a little annoyed at myself for some of the spending that I have been doing recently. Um, part of that is with my diet no longer being as robust as it could be. But part of that is also just uh, things that I've been spending on that I probably didn't need to, which I'm not beating myself up over because I need to keep my mental health in check at the moment. And some of those purchases have really held with that. But Part of it is also I'm giving myself the excuse, which isn't great. So yeah, it's a bit of uh, six of one, half a dozen of the other, I think. Doing okay, but could get better. I mean, everyone thinks they're a good person, but yeah, I do. I do think I'm a good person. I think I, think I can be a positive person. I don't always think I'm a positive person. I think sometimes I can get quite wrapped up in negativity. Um, and it's a habit that I need to try and break, uh, that I'd want to try and break out of because I don't want to be a negative person. Um, 
it's difficult to do in certain situations, particularly at work. But hopefully that's something I can work on next year and get a bit more positivity into my life and change my my um, my kind of default outlook on things. But I do think I'm a good person. I like who I am at the moment. Ooh, um, at the moment, not often, actually. I don't watch a lot of things that I haven't that I that I knew. I watch a lot of things that I've already seen before because I quite like the comfort side of that. So I'm not even if it is a comedy or something comedic, I'm not laughing at it the way that I would previously. Um and yeah, I'm not having a huge amount of social interaction, maybe once a month, twice a month if I'm lucky. Um so yeah, the laughing isn't happening as much as it probably could do. And maybe that's something that needs to change as well. Um, for fun, I... <laughs> I run, or will be running, two uh, role-playing campaigns um, starting from next year, which I'm quite looking forward to. I watch a lot of YouTube stuff. Um, a lot of stuff that I've seen before. Watch a lot of Netflix that I've seen before. Um, and recently I've been getting back into Overwatch, which has been really good actually to have something to focus on for short periods that hasn't been, it, it's not like a, a playing a full 20 hour marathon gaming session. I can just do 15, 20 minutes here, take a break if I want to come back to it later. And I don't, I don't feel like it's too much of an investment, which has been really good. Plus the cathartic, um, experience of blowing people up because I'm angry. Also really fun. Um, and actually I'm getting kind of good at it now. I'm, I'm kind of happy I'm getting back in the swing. Uh, it's, yeah, I, at the moment it's been very much kind of passing the time more than it has been having fun. But hopefully I've already set things in motion to change that next year. I am comfortable with who I am. Um, that's not always been the case for me. And particularly over the last year, there have been moments where I have been Wishing I was someone different, maybe, but I am happy with who I am. I like who I am. I'm proud of who I am. And I'm proud of the fact that I I made me who I am. I did that. And I wouldn't have been this person if I hadn't been through that shit. So, in a way, I'm kind of grateful for that, too. Okay, uh, where do I want to be in six months? Um, rich, no. <laughs> I want to be able to look back and know that I did my best. That's all I'm ever going to really want, so that's really vague and a really cop-out answer. Um, okay, I would like to have completely saved up all the money that I need for my saving goals. Um, I'd like to have paid off a chunk of my debt, if possible. Um... Yes, within in the next six months, I would like to have either already been to my first LARPing event or be preparing to go to my first LARPing event. That would be awesome. Yeah, I think those are good goals. Yeah, I do think that that's achievable. Um, I mean, obviously, depending um, for some of that with the pandemic and what happens there. But I think that is achievable if I if I really focus and I really aim for those kind of goals, then I think I can I can get those things. I can definitely sort out my finances and pay off a nice chunk, which would be really, really good actually. So yeah. My biggest challenges over the next six months will be me. Um no, it'll be mostly my social anxiety. Um is something that I know has been building now for the past ooh, eight, nine months. Um, and that's going to be my biggest challenge moving into 2021, mostly because obviously I haven't been able to be very social. Um, so moving into 2021 with vaccine coming out, with hopefully with restrictions relaxing, um, there's going to be more opportunity to be social. And I know that in the past, I make a lot of excuses to not have to engage because of the anxiety and the fear of the anxiety. Um, 
so yeah i'm that's gonna be my biggest challenge is kind of overcoming that hurdle i think things that i think will go well for me will be um i think my diet and my exercise will be these things that will will improve um i've been quite dedicated to that over the past year and have made a lot of improvements so i don't i think that's something that is, is going to easily go well for me and i think the same can be said for my finances i've got into a good rhythm a good pattern with that now i've got the tools and the skills to make that work um so hopefully that's something that, something that will go well as well um, without requiring that much effort because I'm already in those routines. Uh, yes and no with the plan. Um, I have a goal or a theme for the year. This is something that me and Becky have done and I think Anissa is doing this year as well. Um, is having a theme for the year. My theme for 2020 was um, re redefine. Um, which I have done. I have redefined a lot of things about my life and I have restructured a lot of it and I have found myself again in the middle of it all. Um, so my goal for 2021 is build. I want to build on what I have done this year and improve on it and continue to forge forwards in the same direction with the same um, drive and commitment. So I don't have very specific plans on how I'm going to achieve all of those things, but I do have a direction and I've got the skills now. I keep saying that, but I've got the skills now to hopefully make those things happen without it being as much guesswork as it would have been in the past. Ooh, uh, three most important goals. Um, I think one is definitely my diet and exercise. I'm lumping those together, but um, I want to... I've gotten to a point where I look at myself and I don't think, ugh, which is a huge achievement, something I never thought I would get to. Um, I would like to improve on that. I think it would be really good for me to be able to look at myself every day and think, damn, I look good. Um, which I have had a couple of days of that this year, which has been really nice, but not as many as i would like so hopefully and um, so yeah that's gonna be one of my important goals um improving on my social life that's a big goal for me because i don't want to become the person i was in the past um one of the houses that i lived in before was an incredibly social house and i was an incredibly anti-social person uh it was not a good mix and I would find I would find excuses all the time to avoid those social interactions and I don't want to be that person again so this year it's going to be an important goal for me to make sure that I don't fall back into those habits and to actively seek out those social engagements in ways that I haven't done previously and third I think third is going to be taking more time to enjoy myself. I think that's going to be my third most important one. I don't take enough time to just have fun. Um, I put pressure on myself. I always have to be achieving something that has to be working towards some big goal or project or something. But I want to be able to take time for me to slow down, to relax and just to enjoy. So, yeah, I think that'll be number three. Um, one thing I have started and is something that I hope to continue and I've done it many times before, but maybe this time it'll stick. Um, I've started meditating again and I don't know how much that's going to help with my happiness, but hopefully it will teach me to stop and slow down long enough to realize when I am happy. Because that's something that I find difficult, I think. I'm always panicked that I'm not doing the right thing and that I should be doing something else and there's something else more important that I should be doing. And then I'll change what I'm doing and then I'll look back and think, oh no, I should have been doing that in the first place. And it would be good to be able to stop and think and say, am I actually happy right now? Because if I am, 
then that's fine. So yeah, meditating hopefully will help. And that's it. That's um, all the questions I have for myself. Um, in six months time, I will be doing this again and I will compare some of the answers. Um, the goal is when I redo this, that I will answer the questions and then rewatch this video. Um, but yeah, thank you for indulging me for however long this has been. And I hope that you've enjoyed it. And I hope that the next video shows the improvement that I've been aiming for. We will see.